This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Dice. Welcome back to another episode of Rumor Roundup. This is the show where we round up all the rumors from the week. Up this week, we got rumors swirling that the iPhone's finally going to make it to T-Mobile. A brand new battery design in an alleged 13-inch Retina Display MacBook Pro. We're going to talk about the Nexus 4 slowly showing up in some camera logs. And iOS and Google Maps might be getting back together again. This is Rumor Roundup. Let's go ahead and get started. So the iPhone is available in the United States on three of the four major carriers. The only one left out of the party is T-Mobile. They've been trying to recruit people to bring their iPhones unlocked over saying, hey, you can use our edge network. Sometimes you can use our 3G network that's sometimes 4G-ish. Depending on where you are, they've offered micro SIM cards, nano SIM cards, they've tried to lure customers. It looks like they won't have to do any shenanigans much longer. According to Morgan Stanley analyst Nick Delphus, without citing a source or providing any supportive details, Delphus said that T-Mobile will carry the iPhone in early 2013. So if the Morgan Stanley analyst is P believed, that would probably tie in nicely with T-Mobile's initial rollout of their LTE network. Sprint has been rolling out their LTE network for the better part of six months, but it's only in select cities, so it wouldn't be that far fetched to think that Apple might decide to partner with T-Mobile and their initial LTE rollout. It'd be nice to see every carrier offer the iPhone to finally have consumer choice. T-Mobile's got a great range of Android headsets. They're going to have some great Windows Phone handsets. Hopefully, they'll have some BlackBerry 10 headsets, and maybe they might finally complete the offering with an iOS device. And maybe that might pave the way for iPads running on T-Mobile's network. So we are just a few days away from Apple's Tuesday iPad mini event. We're expecting to see redesigns to the iMac line and also a new new 13-inch Retina Display MacBook Pro, which previously only was available in 15-inch sizes. According to the Chinese website, WeFone.com, we're going to see an unprecedented battery design in the 13-inch Retina Display MacBook Pro. Retina Display MacBook Pro is definitely going to use more battery to power its Retina Display. So what's Apple going to do? So when they say, you know, revolutionary design, they don't expect that to mean giant battery life. What that's going to mean is industrial design, how the battery is maybe made up, how it's going to sit inside of the shell. Something like that is probably what they translate to revolutionary design. What they're going to do, though, could be anybody's guess. Maybe the aluminum shell will serve as a battery. Battery. Maybe it'll be wireless charging that'll use solar panels. Who knows? But at least we'll be able to have a 13 inch MacBook Pro that hopefully will get you through a full day. So we are very close to seeing new Nexus devices, and the name Nexus 4 has been thrown about quite a bit, supposedly being made by LG. According to a Picasa album that Android Central picked up, there is some EXIF data that is showing Nexus 4 as the name. For those of you guys who don't know what that is, essentially it'll show you the phone or the camera that was used to capture an image. And inside of that data, it's showing Nexus Nexus 4, if rumors are to be believed, we'll have a quad-core phone running a new update to Jelly Bean out and made by LG. We expect to see new Nexus devices though sometime in the next few weeks and hopefully we'll even see five Nexus devices. What do you guys think? You excited about a Nexus 4? Are you excited about LG making it? Would you rather not have LG make the next Nexus phone? So let me take a minute to thank our friends at Dice.com. If you love all this technology news and you want to get technology field itself, uh, Dice.com has some of the latest job openings available that might be right for you. Dice.com is the carrier hub for tech. With over 20 years, they've been helping connect technology professionals with the highly targeted competitive jobs they seek. And not only that, even have a sense of humor because finding a job can still be fun. Take a look at this clip from the Dice Dot-com tech job mega show. See what we mean. Nailed it. Pretty cool stuff, right? So check out the full clip at youtube.com slash dice. You can also browse Dice's huge database of job postings right now to find the perfect job for you. Go to dice.com today and check it out for yourself. So with the release of iOS 6, it also saw the disappearing act of a native Google Maps for iOS devices. I loved Google Maps, and I'm not even going to get started on losing a native YouTube app. But it looks like those days might be coming to an end. If the rumors are to be leaked, you'll have new features in there that we didn't have previous. You'll have two finger sort of rotations that you can spin around similar to Apple's 3D mode. No word about that we're going to have turn by turn navigation in there. But if you loved Google Maps and you're sick of getting lost, you might be very excited over the next coming months. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Rumor Roundup. I'm your host, John Rettinger. Be sure to check out technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. See you in the next video.